How's it going boys and girls? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to the Legend of Pirates Online. In the last episode we just continued the grind. I mean, that's really all I've been doing. And it's good because we are just we are making great progress. I did not do the quest that we left off on uh, before this session, so we will be doing that right now. But I don't believe we have or I believe we don't have a lot left pretty sure we're about done with the uh the Gilladoga quest line which is great that's that's a sign of progression so we got to go find some mercenaries here i do not recall where those are at uh let's see let's look at this trusty ass map i, I would believe that they are somewhere south so i will run over there um this is going to be the last session for the year i think this is going to be a two episode session i'm going to try that uh the reason why i'm saying try is because i feel like i'm coming down with a cold or something of that sort i feel like uh i i, I got the feeling that a sore throat is coming on and that usually comes with a cold uh which is kind of weird i think for this time of year but what do i know i'm an idiot so we'll see how i feel as we go along with this and I found our mercenaries. Um, I forgot that I have this like level 20 uh, broadsword. And <laughs> look at that effect right there. That, that is so cool. Uh, it's uh, I, I got this from one of the codes earlier. I don't remember what episode it was. It was with Jack. Good old Jack. Why are my attacks missing? That was weird. Um, oh, it's 1 out of 12. Uh, before I forget, some Talapo news. The, uh, what is it? The Raven's Cove quest line. Oh fuck, I'm dying. What the hell? These guys are doing hella damage. Um, the Raven's Cove quest is going to be coming out on the 30th. I just saw that. And I remember being told many times about it. And I just continue to forget what exactly it is. But I think I was talking about it. Uh, in some sort of previous episode saying I don't know how long this shit is I don't know if I should include it in the playthrough and I believe someone in my discord said that it wasn't actually that long and I could easily include it in my playthrough so if, if that is so then I guess we have the Ravens oh fuck I believe we have the Ravens co quest line that will be coming up here in the playthrough very soon, I think I will be doing all that before I finish up the uh, the Black Pearl stuff. Because, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, if I if I remember my cheating correctly, <laughs> I cheated and looked at uh, what quests are pretty much left, or get a general idea. The last guy we'll be recruiting doesn't have too many quests compared to what we're doing right now, so. Uh, shit, what am I trying to get at? <laughs> um, after we do all that, we have the Black Pearl Rescue Quest. And then that's it. I don't think we have many more episodes to go. So if we're going to... Why are we not dealing damage? What is happening? I'm, I'm getting worried here. The more I just attack... Oh, nope. Like, Alright, I guess we're good. Um... Yeah, I think we'll successfully finish this playthrough under 100 episodes if, uh, even if we do the Raven's Cove quest. As long as I don't dick around, like I tend to do whenever Jack comes on, I think I'll be alright. I know Jack hasn't been coming on. Uh, I, I assume he's busy. I know it's winter break, but, you know, we're all busy in some sort of way, right? But if he comes back on, I'm, I'm pretty sure the uh, the episode count predictions will change because we'll probably just be dicking around. But man, Raven's Cove. That place is different from every other location. You can definitely tell that that was a, uh, a late addition back in the original Pirates. And you can definitely tell that they were going to do a lot more with it. Or at least I assume. I mean, there's a quest line specifically for this location. So I'm, I'm, I'm interested in whatever's going on. If I remember correctly, there's some shit about ghosts and stuff. It's, uh, it's, it'll, it'll be interesting to go through. It'll, it'll definitely be a change of pace compared to, 
uh, what we've been doing here. Just the repetitive shit across these islands, uh, trying to recruit people with whatever their story is. It'll definitely be a change of pace, or at least I fucking hope, man. I, I really do. And another thing to look forward to is that I'm almost on level 30. And once I am on level 30, we're going to drop this shit and we're going to go do that voodoo staff quest line. I really want the voodoo staff. I never, ever, ever got to use the voodoo staff in any sort of pirates. I never got to use the explosives either, but the voodoo staff, I remember when I was younger, I'd see people using that shit. And I was so jealous because I didn't have membership. I don't have the money for that stuff. So... That's something to look forward to, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys. I, I'm, I'm a little school kid that just really wants to play with the voodoo staff, man. That's, that's all I'm saying. Alright. We got the mercenaries done. I rambled enough to get all that shit done fast. Uh, yeah, it was like five minutes. No worries. Five minutes just killing those guys. Nothing too crazy. Let us return to Popper Pedro. Uh, I don't really know what we're doing right now. I assume we're trying to find yet another key, which is lovely, but yeah, man. I, I don't know what I'm getting at. Uh, I, I guess back on what I was saying, this is the final session for the year. Uh, man, I, I didn't really see myself a year ago playing this for more than a year, but it seems as if that's how it's going to go down. Maybe if I didn't take as many breaks... Everything would be okay, but I think I said this before, I've taken breaks in Toontown Rewritten when I did that playthrough. Uh, it's just trying to do this daily, or not daily, but as often as I am, it really takes a toll, especially when it's this repetitive and just garbage. I chi I don't know what that means. That feels good. Thanks, Swabby. I buried the key right here on Padres. Recover the chest and the key is yours. You got it. I just have to find a random ass uh, place to dig up some treasure and we're good to go man we are good to go but now we are enter we are going to be entering 2018 we're leaving 2017 behind are any of you guys going to do anything for new year's i do read your comments by the way i know i don't respond to them uh even on video i said i'd start doing that again but i <laughs> i've been lazy um I do read your comments, so I am actually interested in hearing what you guys have planned, if anything, for uh, New Year's. I don't have anything planned. I never do. Uh, maybe, just maybe, I might go out if someone invites me to go do something. I'm not much of a party goer. I'm also an introvert. I also have no idea where the fuck I'm going. But, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to hear what you guys have in store, if anything. And if you don't have anything going on, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it's just... Ending a year and going into another one, just starting over. Nothing too crazy. What the fuck? Alright, I won't ask questions. But, I'm excited that the year is ending. 2017 definitely was a pain in the ass. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the next year, man. Especially here on YouTube. Uh, you know, this year was just fantastic. So, I'm, I'm really excited for what next year has to offer. Um... You know, a lot of a lot of you guys watching this episode or this playthrough, I mean, uh, have really contributed to this year being fantastic on the, on the channel, which is just it's awesome. I'm really grateful, and I can't wait till next year. I hope you guys will also stick around for whatever else I will have in store once I am done recording this, because that uh, is bound to happen. I know some people have somewhat stuck around and have continued to support me after i have ended my toontown rewritten playthrough and videos uh, regarding that and i know that toontown was a very big source for people coming into the channel uh, it's actually one of my biggest growth points getting to a thousand subscribers but i hope you guys will you know hang around like they did and continue to support me if you wish great job Yes, and now we have to recover a chest from a Storm Reaper. I don't understand what the story is there, but we shall go do that. I don't know where Storm Reaper ships are. So I will go find one, and I will sink it. So, uh, insert jump cut here. Well, it took about 12 minutes, but I found and destroyed a Storm Reaper. That was actually a pain in the ass, 
And I actually had to uh, switch servers there. That was annoying. Or oceans, as they're called. That was really, really annoying. This is why I don't like sailing <laughs> on recording sessions, because I get really unlucky at times. All right, let us go back to Gilladoga. We are 91% done with this quest line. We're 90% done with the whole crew. My god, man, we were so fucking close and man, I'm I'm getting excited, man. I am really getting excited to be able to be so close to being able to finish this shit finally. And you know, I've said this but I've already said this. This quest line is not as bad as Gunner. For some reason, Gunner's was just so, so damn repetitive. This one, well, it is repetitive. It's, it doesn't seem as bad. Excellent work. We have to deliver a chest to Gilladoga. But we're already here. Yeah, the fuck? All right. It may be a vexed chest, but I still has some of Romany Bev's potion and there she blows. Well done. But it's not it. Curses. Now only one left that I know about may be the key. Wow, of course, the last key he knows about will be the one that works. So we have to defeat 14 undead gypsies, 14 undead executioners, and we have to recover a key from the catacombs. Wait. Oh, oh, okay, from from Bone Rattler. So a boss. All right. I get you. I was gonna ask, like, why are we why are we fighting enemies then? So I guess this is the final key. I'm assuming that this is the final thing that we have to do. I should look at the quests again. And if any of them state that we get about a thousand XP or something for turning this in, then yes, this is most likely the end. And that's a hundred, that's a hundred, that they're all a hundred. Hmm <laughs> to the catacombs we go. At least I know where the uh, gypsies and I... Yeah, yeah, the executioners. The gypsies and executioners, I would always uh, just stand in front of them and, and shoot. That's how I was getting my uh, my gun leveled up, actually. I would just head to the catacombs and shoot them. That's, that's all I would do. I'd just stand there and shoot those two enemies. So I guess I will be returning to that location. Not with my gun, but with my dark broadsword. That shit is really nice. I like the effect on it. But I want to say that this is one of the last things we have to do. I, I want to say we're like right there at the end. I should probably open up my quest thing again and see exactly what the percentages are. Uh, I don't know why I don't do this all at once, <laughs> but whatever. We are 94% done. Maybe this is one of the last things. I, I mean, it's pretty fucking close. And if the percentages are actually accurate this time around, then we're, we're about done. So I'll head over to the catacombs, start fighting, and yeah, man.